Hello and good evening and welcome to a mod spotlight update where we are going to take a look on what has been going on with LVTS X version 0.5 and I got to tell you this is insane so Cosmet has been working his merry little ass off and there is so much to cover, so let's get to it. I think we'll go from here and then, oh, well, lots of stuff. So, uh, he has added in a ton of new blocks. So the first one is this T5 health node, which will recharge your energy and oxygen and hydrogen, I believe, automatically. It can also be used defensively, which is a lot of fun, but uh, you'll have to figure that one out uh, by yourself. Then he has added in bricks, so all the four shapes, and this is the, let's see, yeah, the floor tile, so the interior block, they are colorable, they are fairly cheap to make, if we go here, it takes just a little bit of gravel, and a little bit of silicon, and that's it. The thing with them though, they are pretty heavy. So, you can make st uh, stuff that will have a bit more uh, health than the regular armor blocks. Uh, but they will be super, super heavy. So, this is very much a material for bases. And it's looking really awesome. Love the design here. And, I mean, brick houses, who doesn't love them? <laughs> Let's see, you could make a spaceship, but it would be horribly stupid. So, that's a challenge. Then, you have these two bad boys, the dual Gatling turrets, T4 and 5. Uh, the range of them is a bit less than uh, their uh, single barrel counterpart. The rate of fire is higher which means they do a lot more burst damage. So it's not a replacement for the regular Gatling guns. Uh, it's an option. Uh, and I think that's really, really cool. They are also a lot of fun. Just squirting bullets everywhere. I really like them. <laughs> uh, and then maybe one of the biggest things is this. The hydrogen balloons going from T2 up to t5 we are going to test out one of those later just here basically it's a balloon yeah then we have a new shape for rarium so the rarium tags looking very good uh, again i am also uh, impressed by the quality of the graphics here Super cool that. Okay, and then let's move on over here to the liquid rarium thruster T6 small block. Well, small thruster for a large grid. Those are really cool. Uh, let's go to the let's see thruster. It has uh, ninety something percent. Yeah, hard to say here. Uh, trust in atmosphere and 100% trust below 30% atmosphere. So it's an, a high-end option uh, if you want to get rid of, I uh, don't want to use hydrogen thrusters. Now, rarium is also used in the most powerful reactors in LVTS. So there's, you know, you might not want to burn your fuel, but then again, if you have enough, then go for it. Right, then you have the Eber module, uh, the little dots added by me. So, this is a T8 block, meaning it's incredibly powerful. It's also very expensive to make. This list of components, lots of T5 stuff, the mythical thruster components. It's a lot of work to make, but it is absolutely worth it. So compared to the vanilla hair and the numbers are kind of I struggle with them but the vanilla yield module gives an effectiveness rating of uh, 1.091 
which I guess translate into it will be 1.091 uh, times better, whereas this has a flat 1.25. And the speed modules gives 0 0.5 speed added, so that just adds, uh, whereas this module will give 1.075 so a lot greater and it's one module instead of two so this does to work of a lot of vanilla modules and since you have limited module slots it makes a lot of sense then you have these lovely things which is the bounty machine gun turrets so tiers three to five and to make these you need a special component called bounty component and you can't make that. Uh, and it takes, it has a special, um, it has a special ammunition. Uh, let's see. Can we, we, no, where is that? There. Yeah. So, which you can make, but you can't make the, uh, the turrets themselves without the bounty components. And the same here with the machine guns. They are looking awesome, by the way. I really like them. We're not going to fire them. Uh, maybe one of the turrets, because I have a little th something outside. I have a couple of things outside. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that for these things. Let's see. There's a couple of things I haven't and I won't uh, go over, because it's just so uh, much. So, let's see. Block changes. Uh, that's the rear fuel tank. Yes. Then you have the uh, static disruptors for small grade was removed. Then you have a new feature called Danger Zone. For those of us that has played around with other encounter spawners, that's basically a place where there is very bad things that you can fight. That's also, of course, where you find the stuff that will give you the bounty components. So, it's clever. Then... Uh, a lot of encounters has been uh, modified and a lot of new encounters has been added <laughs> just all of them feel free to pause the video uh, to read all of this let's do this and then weather effects which was kind of glitchy has been reworked so it now works on all planets and new weather has been added the blue fog for the ice planet which I'm dying to find out how bad it is. And the red sandstorm for alien planet. Also, the alien planet has a ring added to it, which is kind of awesome. So, let's take a look here, just for some fun. So, we have my little tonk. <laughs> Nothing special, let's see. But it does have the mountain machine gun, so we go here. Oh, that's a lovely sound. Oh, I really love it. And then, uh, let's see here. So this is a T2 balloon. We are on the ice planet moon. So that's the thing. So, but this is full. There's an atmosphere here. So if I press this button, nothing happens. Why? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, connector. Go back off. No? Okay. Let's lock. And then, oh no. This is when everything goes wrong, isn't it? There, and top it off. Huh. I don't think there's enough of an atmosphere here to make this work. But we have tried this out on Earth. And, well, it's a balloon. It floats. It can be super annoying. A lot of fun to play with. Now, uh, Cosmit asked me to show off one last thing, so let me just go into this. Oh yeah, the active rerium reactors. No, thrusters. Look at them. Looking amazing. But we need to go to space before we do that, so let's do that, and I will be right back. See you in a hot little moment. Right, and we're back. So, I forgot one thing. Uh, new factions has been added in. So, you ha have the Rebellious Space Force, the RSPF, 
which replaces the Elvitias faction. Then you have the Deep Space Tyrants, the SPT, and the Space Peacekeeper, SPPK, which, well, some of them are pretty not happy. Others, well, um, yeah, they can help you out. Uh, Cosmet also included uh, Rival AI, which means that um, the AI uh, will behave a lot more intelligently. So you will, for instance, get space battles, which is kind of awesome. Now, we are almost there. Let's just sign up here. Oh yeah, that's the thing with these thrusters. They need some time to rev up. I believe they have some interesting mechanic here where they actually... Uh, they won't give you the full push until after a little while. Now, this is the space hub. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's go out and say hello to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I won't be doing much here, but it's a pretty amazing encounter. And I believe it to be friendly. And boy, is this looking amazing. So, this is just... I don't even know, guys. Um, now, Cosmet is not acting all alone here. Uh, he has had help from community members. I have done a bit of building for this, but... It's just so amazing to see all of this, and it makes... Hello, staff only. No. Mm. Just seeing this from one person, it's completely amazing. And this is, a, this is merely an update video. This is not the entire mod, as you all know. It's completely insane. So, uh, as always, Cosmet, I am super, super impressed by what you've done here. Uh, I hope that you guys will have a lot of fun uh, playing around with LVTSX. I know I am, really. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a very good one, and keep on engineering. Bye-bye, guys.